Davis has an extra gear that once he puts his mind in, uh, to the fact that he's going to go to the hole, he gets there pretty quickly. There's Ross with a three. Texas Tech needed that. Uh, he just threw the pass out of bounds. It was kicked, but not until it was already out of bounds. Giles to Torah. And looking inside, one and Ross. So now the game away, but instead UCLA gets down and cuts it to three. UCLA is on an eight to two run. Dora guarded by Hollins. Ross for three. Good. What a shot. Contested it. Here's Ross. Holds up with the jumper. Got it. It's advantage of a wide open shot. Five points for Lucas, five for uh, Joey Graham, and five for Bobbitt. What you have on both sides of the floor is big little screening in that motion offense. Ronald Ross. In this Big 12 tournament, down the stretch, still fresh. They're the catalyst for this Texas Tech offense. And he's really gotten good play from the inside, good scoring from the inside. Changes after that break, and they go inside. Right? Offense, but his team may have perfected the principles. We'll illustrate those principles there. The guys in the circle, screener and guy coming off the screen, and the X's are the two defensive players. And what the principle of motion offense is, you come off the screen, you read what the defenders do. In this case, they drop back, so you react to that. And when you have a guy like Ronald Ross that can make that Joe Hoyt Curry off and Batista, if there's an advantage for Texas Tech, it's on the perimeter. And there's the big advantage right there. Ronald Ross doing a great job. Texas Tech's going to have to consider a double team there, but Ross, so quick again, he comes off that screen. That's the motion offense. Seven and one, shooting from the floor for Texas Tech. Texas Tech, for the most part, has moved the ball very well on offense. Oh, well played. Uh. Coach Gillespie's trying to prove a point to him right now. Yeah, interesting that he'd do it with a player at that magnitude. Ross with the shot off the glass, and he draws the foul. Oh, it was a beauty. The other big names for the Aggies that Red Raiders would like to see. So look at this shot by Ross. Great body control. Yeah, we see here in that replay, Antoine. Just keep your eye on the white shirts as they move and cut off screens. There's Ross. Nice cut, nice pass. Can't do it any better at the lower part of your screen as he moves off the double screen, curls into the lane. No blue shirts around. Again, everybody's still looking for the first score here at Spirit Arena. Marshall outside, being patient. Well, that's another thing that's probably pretty tough in an opener. Nice feed inside to Ronald Ross. It was Daryl Dora that got it there. That was that was good patience. They had it that you really want to be cautious about when you get to the point that the Red Raiders are now with this lead down a little bit. Ronald Ross. Ross left all in all. Just inside the three foot line. Knight in the Gonzaga backcourt. Gonzaga by four. Inside to Ross, who makes it work as he switches for Hi, Martin Zeno. Boy, after that drive, very quickly, Hoffman takes off. As he waited to see if Simeon would be open, the defender stayed with Simeon like he was able to hit it. Ross, great move. In the latter part of the season there. He goes against Miles. Ross. It's two on the line. Leading at halftime by almost 15. Right now they're tied at 27 here on the south flank. Lob pass. To give a big assist to Dora. Norman. And he really has to be good. That shot, for some reason, it made. Wow, look at that. Run to perfection. Lasers run inside. Another great. Seven or more this season. Wow. Oh, another backdoor cut. It's Ross again. Totally. So we're tied at eight. About to go into 14 minutes to play. The loss. It's that hundred points a game in high school in North Carolina. Curry's own selfish guy. Ronald Ross. But I'll tell you what. And let's look right in here. In this area right here, usually that's a pretty congested area. But in this motion offense, the pass goes to one side. The guy cuts off a screen on the other side, and he gets into that. As you'll recall in the first half, many runs were usually answered by 11-point runs by the Red Raiders. Sure were. And that's a way to start it with Ronald. We go back to our own game. In four here in 
Tucson, and Ross got a nice roll. On the floor. With plays like this by Ronald Ross, he's hot. Texas Tech leads. By the Red Raiders. Under 11 minutes to play, first half. Ross falling away, knocks down the jumper. Coming into this matchup today. Well, he saw the ball game before, and part of it was probably his problem, not doing a good job of moving without the ball to make himself available. Zeno, good bounce pass. Should get in there and battle and work against bigger people. And he can step out there and shoot. Good passer. That's all right. I like the way you guys are playing. That interior passing is terrific. This is Dora with the basketball. Swing it left side. Open look, and they knock it down. The other end when Texas Tech missed the layup. Conley with seven. Just inside the arc, an open look, and knocked down by a run. Giles, entry pass inside. And again, another easy layup for the Red Raiders. Red Raiders, Chrisip Powell pulls up, and then the bounce pass, nice move for us. Yeah, probably felt pretty good for Mark Shepard. He doesn't get a lot of playing time, but he's able to put together a highlight shot. Very physical league in the backcourt. A lot of good defensive guards. State. Ross. And the thing that Tech... Good defense by A.C. Law. Ross. Still with his body floating to the left tree. Uh, he, he, serious trouble. Exactly. They got off to a quick start against Oklahoma State, and it's not doing the same thing tonight. When Norman, though, when Oklahoma gets you turning the ball over and starts pushing the ball up and down the floor, getting those transition buckets, that's when they can really blow the game open. Brought to you by UMC. We'll start out with the senior captain, Ronald Ross, who really got things started for the Red Raiders. He sure did. Came out firing again, and it, Doing a nice job offensively and one. Campuses at lunchtime, they have five on five. Some teachers are the most athletic player on this Texas Tech team. Ross stops, pops, and hits. This is a. Here's LaQuinty White, sophomore out of Midland, Texas, in for Bob Knight. And Ross in 27. As here's Ross with 11 for Texas Tech. Up high to Curtis Marshall. Ross again from 17, and he rips another one. By Zeno bringing it out, not seeing anything, not forcing it. And he is, he is wise beyond his view. <laughs> what a great Zeno, and freshman just knocks it down cool, as calm as can be. Well, Ronald Ross has had the times on back cuts. Tech's really been been using the back cut, as we see here, with Dave Vaughn passing the, to Ron to their advantage. a and m to have somebody step up, knock down a couple buckets, and not give Texas A&M the feeling that they're back in the game or, or there we go. Right well, there. who's the guy? Pretty well and uh, can definitely be an asset to Tech come conference season by the way he can shoot and his smartness. Good strong. Marshall oh. not liking in the corner. Getting a little ball movement up front. Now reversing to the weak side. Good interior lead. Centenary has taken three and made one. Yeah, the so. free throws are a good sign in this system. You're one of the great athletes ever has been a, a regular here and on the road, and John is here today. There's Ron with a 34-point lead. I mean, Tech's playing a heck, a heck of a game. And Ohio State, two and a half to play. Back inside again, Ross. When he got the pass. And Zeno. Oh. Waiting for Ross to cut. He does and gets the easy basket. Dora, we saw hit a three-pointer the other night, has the ball out top. Ronald Ross takes a triple team and gets the big. Backdoor cut. Thomas found Ross. Take a look from the outside. Ross. Just a quick look. Right from the top. Right, but we didn't anticipate that no one else would exactly. score. <laughs> yeah. Unless Jarius has got about 85 <laughs> points in him tonight, somebody else is going to have to contribute. Maybe right there. And they do. Nice feed. Good. It's a guy that had 30 points at Clemson against North Carolina and Wake Forest. Defense to contract inside, and that opens up that excellent perimeter game. Great look. 
Reno still in there for Tech. Dora has now checked back in. Giles is out. Nice pass to Ross off the glass. The Rebound Ross. And here come the Red Raiders up three. Under four to play. Ross against Stockman. Tomashek with a pump fake. Nice, nice pass. pass. And a layup for Ross. That, no, I think he's been down. hobbled mentally a little bit yeah, more than too. physically. Oh, wow. Hello. Tech's basketball with a minute 15 left. Take a look at this and you try to figure out the description. Sure you don't want to go over that play again, play the game again? Man. Yeah. Well, Ronald Ross is involved in both of them, so you kind of got a feeling of who probably is going to be that player. Exactly. Just because Ronald Ross has gotten going, but not as much late, but he's kept them in this game. Watch him move off the screens in the motion offense. Excellent job of recognizing where he is in relation to the defender, and then he can create on his own as well. 